Alright, you two, I'm gonna be doing a setup video for my bearded dragon. Here he is, uh, Citrus Leatherback male, which I think he is. No? Okay, well, to start off with the lighting, I got the UVB bulb, like five inches away from the log back there. Log back there. That he goes on to to bat for UVB, and then I have the 75 watt daytime bulb, which is a uh, basking for his basking spot right here on this leg. And yeah, he baskets right there, and that gets to about 115 sometimes, sometimes even hotter, depends on the day. And um. Yeah, it's a dome I have for him. And it's not no let me see if I can get Yeah. It's not um it's actually a hardware store, just regular bulb. Not an actual one from the store, like from Pesmar or something. Those are just ripoffs. Sorry Pesmar, but it's the truth. Cause you can get these and these actually work better, way better than those and way cheaper. And this is the night Tom bulb that I had to get from Petsmart because they don't sell these other places. And it, only, it was only like seventy-five, like seven dollars. I mean, and it's a seventy-five watt. I use it. At, I used to use it at night. Well, I use it in the winter because in the night, I winter, super super cold. But I don't use it no more in the summer and spring because it's right where it needs to be mid mid sixties and. Mid 60s to low 70s at night. It's closing his eyes for some reason. And then, and right here in the basking spot, it needs to be 110 to 100. I have it at 115. Not that bad. Well, I think I lowered it, so it's, I think it's a little bit lower. 110 probably. Right where it needs to be. But he's still using it, it still works, it still poops. And if he poops, that's the good thing. You don't want to have impaction with these guys because impaction with these guys is bad okay um down here should be at around high 80s to low 90s over here should be 77 and then right now it's 87 right there where the probe is and then i got this log he goes on holding up this log which he goes under to sleep at night. He goes right there or right there to sleep at night. Sometimes he's been sleeping right here now. I don't know why. And then I got our water dish that I have to fill up again. You don't really have to fill it up. You don't have to really use water dishes for these guys. I it's just my more my decision, just in case he ever wants it. Cause they never really uses it. They just like drink water. They never drink water out of water bowls. They just drink water like. Mine only drinks water when I took him baths, stuff like that. He drinks it by himself when he's inside the water. So yeah, he gets hydration from that. And me, I use um, slates, slate for my substrate. Cause these guys can get impaction when they're babies. You want to use either slate or you can use um, paper towels. Slate looks better. I'm gonna use slate for all their life, for all his life, even when it's adult. So just in case impaction, I don't want to get that. So I'll just get slate, and it looks nice. It's a poop stain. I need to clean that off. He pooped again. Again. Not, not nice. Have to clean that. Scrub it off, and clean up that poop right there and the poop right there. They wear the desks. And then I have that just for like obstacle, I guess. And then I have that stick so you can climb up to this one. And I have one in the middle, a bunch of sides. And then background, just so you won't feel that stressed. Yeah. He likes it. First I put it in, he thought he can actually go to on the rocks. But he figured that he can't. He's a smart lizard, aren't you? His name is Sol. Yeah. Uh, that's it, YouTube.